Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Planting season is over. We are now moving into hay season. The hay season I have mixed feelings about. It's usually a nice smooth sailing thing you can move through with very little breakdowns. You can pretty much go easy. Last year we bought a square baler and that completely threw a wrench in our entire smooth system. We made a few improvements. This is our round baler. We really like this baler. We would definitely go with another Heston. Obviously not an Agco now. They're branded as a Massey. But uh, one thing we changed is this had 15 inch tires on it. We went to 16s. I'll make it a little bit taller. There is a pan that goes underneath the door that makes the bale roll out of the way of the door. And that was not working very well before. And they took it off before me. Uh, they took it off. It's laying out behind the shop. So our plan is to put it back on. We just don't have time today. 4440 is on the New Holland 273. This is what we bought last year. And is definitely, as soon as it's paid for itself, going to be upgraded. We bought a Parrish Agri-Turf Accumulator. This is really what makes hay season a breeze right here. If you have a good baler in front of it. This baler is just a little too inconsistent with bale lengths. It does cause some problems with this. And then we have a knotter that doesn't, uh, that misses. 85% of our first cutting is being square baled. We have a lot of horse customers now. We would square bale pretty much everything for first cutting. Just we have some fields that have washouts and stuff and I don't want to have to drag that accumulator over it. If you don't know how that accumulator works, uh, it drags the bales on the ground until you get a group of 10 and then it trips the back door and it lets them but, out. Uh, when you get to the field you hook this pin up to this and you unhook it from the baler. So you are being pulled by your bale tube of the baler and so then you're not having to deal with a bale missing the accumulator on turns and stuff like that. It, we're ready to go. I got, I think I got about enough twine for four to five hundred bales. I do not think we are going to get that much today. Second year square baling, I have no idea what I'm doing still. Never figured this baler out on the first year. Well, there's our first group of 10 back there. Uh, look at that, we're on our fifth stack and a bale bust. It's always this right knotter, every time. I don't know what it is about it, but for some reason, it just cannot flip a knot every 50 bales. So I take this, spread it out, and we'll come back and get it again later. But there's always a little positive re-encouragement given, and I think to myself, maybe that's the only one that'll bust today. But it's never just one. Goodness, we've only done like 20 bales since the last one. Yeah, look, right there. 10, 10 bales. This baler's gonna be the death of me. We're about to finish the last, first field got to there and then the remnants of the headland. Well, the first busted one of this field right at 50 bales again, of course. So, we'll do this all over again. So that's the most annoying thing. I just get done with the field. I finish rebaling the three bales that busted and then it spits out a busted one again. There we go. Um, I'm going to show you guys what we got for a bale count so far. Obviously minus four from this field and three from that field. We're at 182. Let's check the twine too. I should have done this when I was over here. Uh, we burned through probably half of it. Just for anybody wondering what you do with the bales left in it, this is how you open the back up. Stick my foot under the gate. Push this forward. I might need two hands for this. There you go. Got the gate pulled out of its latch. So I leave it like that. I can pull forward. Those bales will all come out. Here's the next two fields we got. Uh, front one, back one. I think they're... The front one's for sure about two acres. The back one might be smaller, might be acre and a half. But, uh... 
and all that hay that we just baled really should have been about at least 800 bales. So we are really short on first cut. Should be alright, I think we have 300 of carryover from last year, so we'll see. First cutting haul, we got uh, 270 square bales and seven round bales. Pretty poor, but we got some more hay down now, so we'll be able to bale some more here in the next couple days. But this is the end of this video, so thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.